Hi everyone. In this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the x-ray tool from Helium 10. It's an impeccable product research and keyword research tool that can go over a wide range of details like sales, revenue, price, FBA fees, number of active sellers within an overall niche. So if you are an Amazon seller, you may want to stick around. If you want to learn how to calculate the viability of selling a particular product, in a certain niche. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. One of my favorite features about the x-ray tool is just by hitting the search bar and not even plugging in any kind of keywords just yet, you'll be able to populate data using the x-ray tool of all of the high search volume keywords, high search volume search terms that customers are looking up currently. So one of the things that did pop up is the solar eclipse glasses. And this is because NASA did just announce that there's gonna be a solar eclipse in April. So this explains the spike in search volume. And when we take a look at the trend using the same tool, it shows us that in different date ranges, like 30 days, 90 days, one year and all time, we're seeing a direct spike since NASA's announcement that there is gonna be a solar eclipse in January. So obviously, people are starting to really look up solar eclipse products on Amazon just to prepare for April. So X-Ray is definitely a great tool to be able to leverage and get a sense of what customers are looking up when it comes to the products that are up to trend right now. So we're seeing a lot of these high search volume terms over here, like blue light glasses, as well as reading glasses, glass Tupperware, all of these with a ton of search volume. And upon hitting up any of these terms, you'll be able to see the data on how the search volume is looking in a 30 day, 90 day years date range. Looks like there was a spike in glass Tupperware sets starting in November. And there's been a volatile change since then, but we're still seeing a pretty good spike. So obviously there is a lot of demand for glass Tupperware. And when we do go ahead and add the main keyword of a particular niche, like solar eclipse glasses, let's go with that. We're gonna see over here, all of the Amazon suggested keywords, like I mentioned, related keywords, smart complete. And you're gonna see as the keyword theme starts to become more long tail and specific, the search volume starts to taper down, which is pretty normal. But let's go ahead and take a look at solar eclipse glasses that's NASA approved. Now, obviously when you hit the X-ray tool, it just takes a little bit of time for the data to populate. Now, once all of the data populates, you'll be able to find all of the active sellers within your overall niche, their total revenue, average revenue, average price, average VSR, and average reviews. So this basically shows all of the competitors that you're up against if you're wanting to dominate the overall niche. And Amazon is a comparison shopping tool, so you need to take a look at all of these factors upon setting a price as well as allowing yourself to garner more reviews within your overall niche so you can get ahead of competition. One of the most important sectors within a listing is having an ample amount of reviews as well as a really great overall rating. So when we, when we take a look at your overall niche, one of the first things that we can do is to sort them out by the highest review garnering ones. You're gonna find a lot of them are acquiring up to 6K in reviews. And when we take a look at ratings, they are relatively pretty high. So there's not a ton of opportunity to do any improvements because most of them are garnering a pretty good amount of reviews as well as great ratings. But if you find a lot of products on Amazon that are perhaps incurring 3.6, 3.5 or 3.4 as an overall rating, then that definitely shows you that there are a lot of opportunities to improve that product. So you can potentially still be able to dominate the niche, but apparently for the solar eclipse glasses niche that's NASA approved, even though there's a ton of revenue, there's a ton of potential here, it's going to be a little bit hard to get ahead of competition that is garnering a pretty good overall rating as well as a decent amount of reviews on a monthly basis. So it's going to be immensely competitive. And these are the things that you definitely want to consider as good factors to keep in mind upon launching a product on Amazon. 
So some other things to consider are the amount of private label brands under this column that you'd have to compete against upon launching a product, as well as the Amazon fees that will have to be incurred by you in proportion to the price point that you are willing to establish just to see what your margins could possibly look like. And you can even open up the sales graphs for each competitor just to see in whatever kind of date range sales would look like, whether there would be a spike. Looks like there's generally been a spike since the announcement. So there's definitely a lot of potential within this overall niche, especially at this season, at least until April when the solar eclipse does occur. And for every competitor, you'll even be able to get a sense on what their review velocity looks like by taking a look at the review count and the sales graph in whatever date range looks like their reviews are definitely on the up and up, increasing by a couple of reviews every single day. So if it is an inordinate amount of reviews, perhaps they're doing better off Amazon marketing, any kind of traffic that they're redirecting towards their listing. And if they're making a lot of off Amazon efforts, it's going to be a little bit hard to compete against them. Or it's something that you may want to consider to get ahead of competition, perhaps doing a lot of better off Amazon marketing. In summary, this is definitely a great tool to be able to leverage upon launching a new product just to get a clear sense of your overall niche and what kind of competitors you're up against across all of these different factors. And it's a great way to do some due diligence on your overall niche and how to properly attack all of these competitors in what sectors in order to ultimately get ahead of your competition, garner more conversions since Amazon is a comparison shopping tool. If you like this video, go ahead and check out this Amazon PPC masterclass from our founder, Mina. And don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe and catch you in the next video. Oh,